Hello, my name is Ms. Jaden, and today I will be making a jack-o'-lantern craft with you that can be used for kindergarten students. So the content area is math because we will be using different 2D shapes. So here is a completed version of what my activity will look like. So as you can see, there is a face and the students are able to create the face however they want. They can make it happy, sad, glad, and they can use whatever shapes. And then when the students are done, they're going to be asked to identify each shape and count how many that they used. They will then write the number of each shape that they used. So as you can see at the bottom, there's a paper that says my pumpkin has, and then there's squares, triangles, ovals, hexagons, circles, and rectangles as the option. I included a diagram of what each shape looks like just because I know not every kindergarten student can read. So for this activity, you will need a marker, a pencil, pen, or anything for the student to write with. You will also need to use some glue. You can either use liquid glue or glue sticks, whichever you prefer. And then um, as a teacher, I had green construction paper and then I went online and I found this pumpkin on clip art. And so I simply print it out and cut it and pasted it to the paper. And then I also created my shapes um, worksheet at the bottom and I simply made it on Google Docs and cut it out. So the objective of this is that students will be able to successfully count the number of each shape that they use using a one-to-one -one ratio with their counting. Students will also be able to name and identify the different geometric, geometric shapes. Students will also be able to independently write numbers one through 10. So this connects to the common core state standards. So under counting and Cordinality, student, it says that students in kindergarten should know number names and the count sequence. They should also be able to count to tell the number of objects. And then under geometry, it says that kindergarten students should be able to, to identify and describe shapes, as well as analyze, compare, create, and compose shapes. So this activity works on all of those different state standards. I'm going to now show you how to create my activity. Okay, so as you can see, I have pre-cut out all of the shapes. Obviously, you would need to cut out enough for the number of children or students you would be doing this for. So here I have the triangles, we have the squares, we have the rectangles, the ovals, the circles, and then the hexagons. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the shapes that I want to make my jack-o'-lantern face. All right, now that I have chosen my shapes that I'm going to use um, for my face, again, children are able to choose whatever shapes they would like to use. I'm now going to show you how to put my jack-o'-lantern face together. Take my paper and I will have children write their name at the top. I am then going to take my glue and I'm going to glue my shapes on. You just need a little dab for each shape. All right, and there we have my jack-o'-lantern face. So now that I have glued on all of my shapes and have made my face, I'm going to start counting the number of shapes that I use. So first we're gonna begin with squares. I use no squares, so the children will then say that they have none and they will write zero in the blank. Triangles is next. I used one, two triangles, so I'm gonna write the number two. Ovals, I don't see any ovals on my face, so I'm going to once again write zero. Hexagons, I used one hexagon for his nose, so I'm going to write one. Then circles, I used one, two, three, four circles. So you're going to have the student write or child write the number four. And then rectangles, I did not use any rectangles. So you would just put a zero in the blank. And then 
your craft is complete. You can then hang these crafts anywhere in your classroom or in your home and students will love their jack-o'-lantern shape base.